Hi everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Niku Dango no Amazuan. It's meatballs with sweet sour soy sauce glaze. Very rich, porky, and filling dish. Great as a main, but it's also great for a bento box. So, when you're making this, make some extra so that you can put some in bento box on the next day. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with this Niku Dango no Amazon. So, stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. For the meatballs, one Japanese leek, 600 grams of ground pork, one tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of potato starch or corn starch, two eggs, some ginger, and salt and pepper. For the sweet sour soy sauce glaze, five tablespoons each of soy sauce, vinegar, I'm using rice vinegar sugar, and two tablespoons of potato starch or cornstarch. To garnish, some green onion and sesame seeds. As always, I'm doing all the cutting first, so green onion. Cut the bottom off, cut them into half, put them together, cut them into half, put them together. And let's just make thin slices. And this is the garnish. So let's put it in a small bowl and set aside. Japanese leek. You can use scallion or onion, the round one instead. Make some slits here. And slice. Make some slits and slice. Just keep going to the end. And let's put it in a large bowl. Into the bowl of Japanese leek. Let's grate some ginger. I'm going to grate it with the skin on, so I washed it really well. And I like to make the meatballs gingery, so I'm doing about four tablespoons. ground pork two eggs two tablespoons of potato starch one tablespoon of sesame oil. About two teaspoons of salt and pepper. And knead this well until everything is well mixed and combined.
Let's cut. Let's make it into balls. Little bigger than a golf ball size. Okay, I made 20 bowls. Now, it's time to fry them. I'm heating up some vegetable oil, about one inch from the bottom, in the frying pan of a medium to medium high heat. Let's check the temperature. Put damp chopsticks into the oil. And if you see small bubbles coming up like this, that's the right temperature. So let's put the meatballs gently into the oil. and just fry them for about 5 minutes until it's golden brown. Try not to touch them too much until the outside is set. Fry it for 5 minutes and it's nicely browned. So let's take them out and drain. Clean up the oil. And let's finish up the rest. Okay, all fried. Make sure not to turn the heat off until you take everything out. Now, Let's make the soy sauce glaze using the same frying pan. I just pour the oil out. Let's clean it using paper towel. Then, Five tablespoons of water and all the seasonings for the glaze into the frying pan. Five tablespoons of water, vinegar, soy sauce, sugar, and two tablespoons of potato starch or corn starch and give it a stir until there is no lumpy starch left. The heat is off.
Once the starch is all dissolved, turn the heat on and cook over medium heat as you constantly stir it. When it becomes like a caramel, nice and thick, clear and glossy, the glaze is done. So let's turn the heat off. And let's put the meatballs back into the frying pan. Mix with the glaze. So the meatballs are all coated with the glaze. Let's serve on the plate. Finish it up with some green onion. and sesame seeds and niku dango no amazuan is ready to go time for the tasting The meatball is so soft and juicy inside, and the sweet sour soy sauce glaze is a perfect match with the richness and the porkiness of the meatballs. Delicious! This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Niku dango no amazuan is a main, so it goes here. The main is rich and heavy, so let's go healthy for the other dishes. Plain rice here and okra soup here. Anything you like for the side dishes, but I think I want to have lettuce salad for one of them and some sort of pickles to refresh my palate for the other one. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!